50% of the S&P 500 companies have come out with their numbers. So far, the current earnings growth rate is negative, 1.5%. Of course, Apple weighing on the markets today following its earnings after the bell yesterday. So what can you, the investor, be doing right now to trade off the rest of the earnings season? We brought in some experts. Shri Ravan is Thomson Reuters senior quant research analyst. That sounds so exciting. A qu I want to be a quant research analyst. <laughs> Boy, that's impressive. <laughs> well, it's it's uh, tough in this market, though. <laughs> and Paul Vigna, equally as impressive, the Wall Street Journal's Money Beat reporter. Oh, Paul, you look at what's going on with this earnings season. Everybody thought it would be absolutely horrific. It's not as bad as Apple looks, right? Well, I, I, you know, Apple, Apple is losing on the expectations game, but on the bottom line, they're killing it. I mean, they earned almost $11 billion. That company is okay. It's just that <laughs> expectations had gotten so I high I want to be that it. okay. Right, exactly. Yeah, we'd all want to be that okay. I, I think, to me, the bigger issue is you look at the, the earnings this quarter, you look at the earnings from the first quarter, in both cases, the numbers are just weak, tepid. You're not seeing any kind of growth trends. And to me, you're going to see a lot of companies, and I'm sure you've heard it, everyone's talking about the dollar, right? Because that's the easy boogeyman. Mm -hmm. But the fact of the matter is there is little demand in the U.S. economy, in the U.S. consumer, overseas. There is just there is no sort of fundamental driver to get the bottom line and the top lines growing a lot. And you're now looking at two straight quarters of this. This is a real issue. Shri, um, you know, Apple may take people for a temporary loop. I think that's a that's sort of a red herring because this is not the worst ever. However, which sectors are actually doing really well that have jumped out at you and surprised you? So financials have done well this quarter. They expect expected growth rate is 17.4%. Mm -hmm. But once again, with a caveat, Citigroup actually had weak earnings last year because of some charges it took. So that really helps the year-over-year -year comparison that we had this quarter. This, the industry that really jumped out this quarter was home builders. Uh, so the consumer discretion is doing really well with a 7.1% expected growth rate this quarter. But the home builders really stand out. They have a 56% expected growth rate. Tell me, tell me which names can upside surprise because now this is where he brings out the crystal ball. Shri does this very well. Give me three names that you think will surprise to the upside earnings season right now. Absolutely. So. Boy Gaming is one that we think will surprise on the upside. Uh, it has a positive predicted surprise that most recent analysts are above estimates. Okay. And keep in mind, they don't have exposure to China. And China is really the one that's being hit. Uh, another one is EOG Resources. This is an oil and gas exploration company. Surprisingly, they're one of the better managed companies. They have a... a uh, advantages on their competitors and they have uh, spent capital expenditures to get projects online really soon. And the last company is Fortress Investment Group. Mm -hmm. uh, they actually uh, have $11 million, $11 billion billion. in dry, 11 billion, dry powder. Yeah. Uh, their assets under management just hit $70 billion, the highest ever. So they are having fun inflows and there seem to be a lot of opportunities where they can take advantage of those of that dry gun powder. Yeah, that you know they what? Have. It is a, a stock picker's market, not a stock market right now. Right. Right. You've got to pick the right ones. All right.